Yahoo, 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 YouTube. I am Super Ganky. In today's video, we're going to talk about predicting the future. On Twitch today, I got into a discussion with one of my good followers, Delta Shift, and we were talking about this idea of interpretation and perception. And how do you use these tools to view the world differently. And I think that in order to view the world differently is to have a plan for your life. Now, a lot of people say that they can't predict the future, but if the past is a moniker for the present, then you can probably predict the future. If you were doing, if you did something yesterday and you do it every day, say if you go to work yesterday or if you didn't go to work yesterday, you can probably predict that you won't be going to work today or you will be going to work today, again, dependent on the situation. That's what's happening with this coronavirus pandemic. But I think a lot of our happiness wells up from our ability to be able to predict the future. And if you can predict the future, you can feel more confident about yourself. And I think that's why a lot of people tend to stay so in the realm of their comfort zone because it's the comfort zone to the safety of their predictions and there's comfort, there's assurance, some form of happiness in that predictability. But where I feel a lot of people mess up is that they don't define what they really want. Do you really want to be comfortable? Do you really want to stay in one place? Do you really want to work here or there? Do you really want to do this? And you don't define this monitor, the default setting becomes real. And the default setting is just having emotional stability. But what do you want to be stable in? I think that this is something important for all of us to to think about in these times of quarantine because I'm already starting to create a list of things that I want to do right when quarantine lifts. Number one on that list is getting a haircut. <laughs> I really want to get a haircut when quarantine lifts. Number two is buying one of those art tablets I want to try doing digital art now because I like art, but a lot of my art is limited to paper, which means it can't be like digitalized. And in a future kind of mindset, I think that the digital world is going to become even more relevant in the future. So we could predict, we can predict digital art becoming more relevant in the future, right? And um, I want to start learning more about stocks. Number three, I need to start learning about stocks. I need to start investing. I need to start learning now. And you start investing time and energy into learning about stocks now so that when when quarantine is over, I'll have some know-how on how to invest in stocks. Take this for an example. If any of us were, if it was, we usually predict the future of what's important to us. That's, that's usually what we did. And I saw this quarantine thing and this coronavirus thing happening about two, two, three months before like the whole pandemic broke out. And if stock market stuff was important to me, I would have invested back then, but it wasn't important to me back then. So I bought the food, I stocked it up, but I didn't invest in the stock and the learning of things that weren't important to me. And people always say, oh, money is important to me, but is how you make the money really that important to you? I think that's what we have to really consider. And I didn't invest time and energy into learning about stocks, so I had no ability to predict the future and how my stocks my prospect of stocks would be more profitable because I didn't, I didn't invest any time and energy into making the plan for that. And when you don't have a plan, your future becomes a lot less uncertain. So the idea is that the, we all have the ability to predict the future and we, we do this every day. It comes from our patterns, the patterns that we see in our life, the patterns we expect to happen in reality. We're pattern seeking creatures and we want to have safety and comfortability and our ability to perceive and interpret what's going to happen tomorrow. The sun rose yesterday. It's been doing that our whole life. So we just expect it to raise again, right? Imagine if the sun didn't raise up. We'd all go crazy. Imagine that day, like right before quarantine hit. And then the next day you're like, well, I don't have a job anymore. What am I going to do? That, that uncertainty creates a lot of bad emotions and a lot of, un and a lot of, negativity in our being and I think that in order to really fight against this making a plan is really it's, it's the answer it's the key that you need to be able to 
really take yourself out of the external situation and put yourself into the internal. Make it personal. Don't make it. Don't make the what's outside of your control personal. But make what's in your control personal because then you can control it. And when you can control what's in your what's in your when you can control what's in your control, your life becomes more certain, more predictable, and you can see into the future little by little. Like I'm already starting to see the future a little bit over here in Spain. Whereas originally I thought that I was going to stay here for two years after this coronavirus pandemic happened. I was like, you know what? I don't have two years to just stay in one place. I need to be moving because I have this goal. I have this future idea that by the time I'm 30, I'm going to have lived in every continent around the world for some set period of time, being able to learn and gain perception on different cultures. And I need to speed that up because if I really want to predict the future, 30 is really not that far away anymore. It's only like, um, how many years? Six years. Six years, man. I'm 24. <laughs> Jeez Louise. It's really not that far away anymore. And if I really want to have that future, that if I really want to make that future probable, it means I have to invest more time and energy into making that probability. And that's the beautiful thing. The more time, the more energy we invest into something that's important to us, the more probable it becomes. The more probable it becomes the more likely that it can happen and we can choose it for it to happen. But the thing is, the choice is different than actually making it happen because that that choice is not probable right now. So it's outside of my reach. But the more time, the more energy you invest into making a plan, invest into making a reality, the closer you get to making it in your reach. And this is why you can choose your own future and this is why choices matter. And I know it's, it's maybe a little difficult to see this despite the current situation that's happening in the world. But I think that, you know, nothing's going to change. I mean, maybe some rules and regulations will change, but nothing's going to change when this is all over. We're still going to be the same people. You know, if we didn't choose to be different people while quarantine was happening, we're not going to be different people when it's over. You know, I keep saying this and I love I love this analogy that I don't want the day after quarantine to just be another New Year's resolution because it happens every year. It's one day every year and everyone's like, yeah, I'm going to be a better person. I'm going to lose weight. Yeah. New Year's resolutions are the less kept resolutions you'll ever make to yourself. But why? It's because we don't spend enough time and energy thinking about what we want to do for that New Year's. We only really think about the New Year's resolution maybe a week before New Year's at best. Imagine if we spent three months thinking about what my New Year's resolutions would be, how I'm going to carry them out. If we planned out our New Year's resolutions, I guarantee you they would be so much more likely to actually come true. And it's the same thing with anything you want in your life, any future you want in your life. It's exactly how it needs to happen. And that's a really cool thought. I'm going to write that down later. That um, making a, a realistic, how do we make a realistic New Year's resolution and carry it out? Well, a realistic New Year's resolution has to be carried out, right? So how do we carry it out? Well, we have to plan for it. Well, how do we plan for it? We have to get a head start. Really, really cool stuff. But anyway, YouTube, I just wanted to say today that um, start thinking about planning because you can predict your future. You can predict your future, but it all comes from your ability to apply time and energy in the present moment. That's the video for today. I'll see you in the next one, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel if you if you like the content I produce. I want to get to 10,000. 425 like i keep saying i keep like upping the year count but i'm moving really slowly but i'm still here leave a comment because i love responding to comments of think energy and positivity um hit that hit the like button because i need those likes and most importantly share this video with your friends because we need to get the good word positive thinking out there to as many people as possible i'll see you in the next one bye bye